Good afternoon. Firefighters struggling to control a big fire that forced hundreds of people out of their homes. The fire started Sunday afternoon near Highway 29 and Summit Ridge Road near Burnett. Winds pushed the flames nearly a mile from where it began, scorching 280 acres. Firefighters had it mostly contained overnight, but now the winds are causing new concern that the flames could spread again this afternoon. Let's go live to Jackie and Glace, live on the scene with the latest. Jackie, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Chris. I'm up here at the North Command Post at this fire. It's still up and running. We have firefighters out here directing brush trucks where to go because this is still a very active fire. As you said, the main concern we're having out here right now are wind gusts. And I can tell you that last night at 10 o'clock, this fire was 90% contained. Now I heard from the emergency management coordinator out here in Burnett County that that number has dropped to 85%. Now, Texas Parks and Wildlife Officers took to the sky this morning to assess the damage to the more than 280 acres charred by last night's fire. They're deciding where to send a helicopter to drop water on the ground. Pedernales electric crews are working to repair down power lines. Last night, we saw a lot of those catch fire. And there are still multiple fire crews from more than three counties out here working. But with the weather, we're being told that all the fire crews we saw last night, which were 18 in total, could be coming back out here later on this afternoon. And so the good news that we have out here, Chris, is that we did not have any structure damage and there were no injuries either. That's counting firefighters and residents. Now, there was a conflicting report out here last night that two firefighters were injured. But that emergency management coordinator told me that, to his knowledge, that is not true. The worry now is all of these hot spots we have, and we've got wind gusts that are about 16 miles per hour that are pushing those embers that are left behind north. So the firefighters that are out here are keeping a watchful eye on what's going on, and they said if need be, they are prepared to call back all of those 18 crews we saw last night. And then we could be back at square one, Chris, which means we're going to have evacuations all over again. For now, we are live in Burnett County, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News. All right, since the beginning, Jackie, thank you for that coverage.